Are you scared of not passing a 4G overhead plate test? And if so, today I'm gonna to show you how to do this. I'm Albert Acosta, I'm at Western Welding Academy, running this ESOB at about 75 amps. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tack everything up and I have a 332 gap and a 1 8 landing. At this point right now, I have it all tacked up. I'm gonna fire up on that tack, get it hot. I'm gonna develop a puddle on that tack and start stepping and pausing at a 15 degree angle, pushing back. I'm gonna fire up on this tack right here, get it hot. Once I get it hot, I start stair stepping it in there. I let it freeze just before I go back. I wait a second longer because I'm fighting gravity. Maintaining the same rod angle through the whole process is the key factor here. After you stop, you want to go ahead and grind your tacks. All right, I'm gonna fire up way before my stop so I can have a better tie-in. You gotta make sure you're maintaining the same rod angle the whole process. Just make sure you let it freeze before you go back so you can accumulate a higher face on your route. As you're approaching your tack, you want to go ahead and just stay on it. You want to reform that tack. After you run your root, you want to grind your root pass concave and run your hot pass with 7018. I have this ESOB set about 85 amps. All right, here we go. Hot pass coming up. We're going to weave this hot pass in there. Concentrate right on the root. Want a nice consistent fill. Going to keep it nice, short, sweet, and simple. Just nice, tight weave left to right. All right, now that I have my hot pass in there, we're going to weave the fill pass as well and run it about the same amps. All right, here we go with the fill. We're going to take in time on this fill, let it fill up. We want it just slightly below the leading edge of the bevel. You need to stay equal amount of time on each side. Just be patient with it, let it fill up. All right, here we go. We're gonna puddle cap this. Here we go, just give it time to develop. You want a really nice puddle. Stay right inside the leading edge of the bevel. Stay equal amount of time on each side. Let it fill up the leading edge of the bevel. If you notice, I'm still maintaining the same rod angle through the whole process. All right, this is what your well should look like, a 4G overhead. Hopefully this will help you build your confidence up on your next test for a 4G well test. If you want to become a better welder, come to Western Welding Academy.